Hello everyone, I'm making this video in my room now, but I'm expecting a friend of mine to come over. His name is Anthony, and I always playfully call him Antony. And Antony's coming over, and <laughs> we're going to go to a record store together that we haven't been to, geez, it seems like a year at least, or something like that, if not more. I mean, I don't go to this place very often, and it's about, oh, I'm going to say a 45-minute drive away. But they don't really have as much good stuff as I get uh, in the stores that are a little bit closer to my place and the regular places I haunt. So I don't go there that often. Now, my friend Anthony isn't really uh, a big collector. I mean, he's not into vinyl at all. He collects some CDs. He likes the Beatles. He likes the Rolling Stones. And he has a certain artist he's interested in. But he's not about to make a uh, VC video anytime soon in the vinyl community, anything like that. Well, anyway, uh, the reason I'm making this quick introduction to this is I want to see how it goes. I don't, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to record in this store. I doubt it. But uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, if you're seeing this video portion right here, it means I've got something decent at this store because I'm not going to keep this if uh, I didn't find anything. I hope it's worth my while because I haven't been here in a long time and sometimes you find things. Well, this is already a hint as to whether or not I found anything there if you're watching it. But let's continue and see how we do. <laughs> and there he is. There's Anthony's introduction. <laughs> Good old Anthony. And on Anthony's trunk over here, he's got himself a Beatles logo, which is pretty cool. Well, here we are. Hello. This is, this is Anthony, who I affectionately call Anthony. And uh, we're just uh, on our way to see if we got any uh, good stuff at this place. We happen to be listening to a uh, Radio Beatles block right now that's on. So let's see how we make out. What do you think? You think there's going to be anything good at this place? Well, you know, like they say, somebody else's uh, treasure, trash is somebody else's treasure, right? Is that that's, how it goes? That's right. What are, what are you looking for? CDs? CDs, DVDs, anything, uh, you know, that I might find, anything unique or, or you know, uh, what do you call it, rare to find? You know, yeah, something find. a little unusual instead of the same old stuff. Yeah, yeah that's usually uh, that's usually my take on all of this, you know. Uh, the common stuff I got a lot of. <laughs> it's nice to have different things now and then, something unusual to show in your collection and to play. So, here's hoping. Rare or hard to find, as they say. Actually, we're listening to a CD compilation that I don't know what it is. It's called John Lennon Greatest Hits. This is Anthony's that he's got in here. And uh, I looked at this one other time when we got together. And it's a nice package, but it says EMI in capital, 2011. Well, but I seem to remember there was something about it when I perused this last time that was a little unusual. If you look over here, you see, I think it's Russian or something down there. See what Maybe. I'm talking about? It's Russian. Where, where do you see that? Oh, yeah, there's some yeah. writing here that looks like it's in Russian. Yeah. You can't see it on the camera, but uh, where it should say, like, you know, I don't know, side one or some information. It's kind of looks in Russian writing. But uh, this is a cool. It looks like a, a 45 record. It says EMI Parlophone, but could just be a Russian bootleg, to be honest with you. I, I'm not saying it is. But uh, they do. I have some vinyl that's Russian bootleg, so who knows? That's interesting. So here we are on our way. Unfortunately, we got a rainy day today, but uh, you know, it's we're still hanging out. Hopefully, have some good finds. So I'll wait out here. No use of me getting soaking wet while Anthony puts the quarters in the meter. I'll get my hat. <laughs> and away we go. Well, Cheapo. <laughs> yeah, the name of this the name of this place that we're going to is called Mr. Cheapo's. And now it's called Mr. Cheapo's CDs, where it used to be called Mr. Cheapo's Records. I remember in 1985, and that's going back a ways. I was in there one day browsing through records, and a guy was in there and he goes, Hey Mr. Cheapo, these records ain't so cheap. I remember that. I didn't realize Cheapo was here that long. Exactly. And uh, I'll tell you, I don't really like going here that often. Uh, I hope I find something, but it seems to me like he takes like the best stuff and puts that online, and all the dog-eared and cat-scratched cover records he keeps out. 
I don't know. That's that's my impression anyway. And we're coming up to it. You can see the side awning here. I really don't know if he's going to let us record in here. I go to the other place. stuff that's uh, typical typical stuff Let's see what the Sam okay. anything unusual all right I have this otherwise I pick it up has been here a long time. I was here last time I was here. Uh, nothing in the Beatles section. I'm looking solo. Be uh, right with you, Andy. Just looking. Same stuff from last time. If I had the money on me, I'd buy this one. I don't have it yet. Fireman. Uh, like I said, a lot of dog-eared stuff. quality. Hey, what's this? This is interesting. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. But I don't have the cash for that. Soundtrack LPs. I did find the gem for me. That's oh, a really nice cover. That's coming home with me for only $6.99. Okay, so I found something. Nice gatefold. Actually got some nice surprises here in the Joan Jet section. Stuff that I really want, but I don't have nearly enough money for all this stuff. So I wonder if the guy will hold it for me. Japanese. Stuff, stuff that uh, I don't usually see, uh, and including the entire King King Biscuit Flower Hour special, which uh, I'd like to get the whole thing. And this is very hard to find. Bootleg I used to have jet lag, which is really. Uh, Something I've been looking for for a long time. Damn, I wish this was after payment. I found Connie Francis, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, your wife's gonna watch this, right? No, I hope not. Hello, Mrs. I can't say the last name. Hello, Mrs. Antney. How are you? All righty, you know, I was pleasantly surprised by uh, that store. Uh, it had the same kind of stuff that I said, a lot of stuff that was overpriced as usual, uh, but also uh, some kind of stuff that was, I showed some of it I think, that was like kind of like chewy and <laughs> like pieces missing or, or peeled off the cover. The really minty stuff I guess makes it online, but anyway, I'm surprised I found stuff. Uh, 
you know. I did find uh, this. Everybody loves Connie Francis when I showed her. No, I'm kidding. Shows my Connie Francis album. I got a real unusual album, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, but what really surprised me was that Joan Jett stuff that I saw. And just recently, I showed this in a video. It's a, from Valentine's Day, 1982. The radio show of the King Biscuit Flower Hour. It's a live show, a really good live concert that was broadcast over the radio. And I just recently showed that I got one record, record two, and I didn't have record one. Well, now I got one and two. I had to, I had to buy it again. And uh, I also bought this is dollar ninety nine. Don't surrender. It's a twelve inch single extended mix. That's a good song from our Notorious album. From 1991, but uh, you know, there's some other stuff there that I showed that Japanese version of I Love Rock and Roll, uh, and what else was there? Um, but that jet lag, I looked at it closer after I shut the camera off, and it was kind of scratched, so it doesn't look like it's gonna play well. So I, that's that saves me some money there. I don't think I'm gonna pick that one up. And um, the other one there was the King Biscuit Flower Hour again with uh, somebody just made a, a cover of their own, pasted some photographs of Joan on it. It's not an official album cover, so that, I, that's expendable. And uh, also in the Paul McCartney section, they had that first Fireman album. I forget what it's called, Oceans, Ships, etc. with the red cover. And that was not too high of a price. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can uh, come back here after payday if it's still here. I was going to ask him to hold it for me, but if it's meant to be, it'll be here. I'm glad you were pleasantly surprised on your finds. Yeah, it was worth the trip. But I told you that he loves going to this store every now and then, and I knew that if we went, I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't have the money to get something. I'd beat my heart out, so. Now we're going to a second record store uh, to see if there's anything there. And uh, the way things are going, there may be. Wow, what a horrible day. That rain, wind swept rain. Well, here we are at a Chinese restaurant having a little lunch. Anthony, what are you doing with this egg roll over here? I'm gonna eat it with my food when that comes. You didn't get anything at the first record store, right? No, maybe you'll have luck at the second store. I might, you never know. You might, rabbit, you might. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Thank you. Eat up, Anthony. Looks delicious. A man does not live by records alone. That he doesn't. Mmm, good. good, is it? Here we are. The next record store. Doors, yeah, I'll show you. We have a whole, like, uh, slew of music. Want anything there, Andy? Eh, a little something here. What do you got there? A little Doors DVD collection. Oh, what is it actually? Oh, is it? What is it? Vi uh, promo films. Promo films? films? Yeah. This is the people's are here somewhere. Well, you probably got to move the records off them if you want to see. <laughs> Just to make you have to work a little bit to move them. That's the whole the whole idea. Put them on top of Lover Boy. <laughs> Put them on top. Lover Boy. That's pretty funny. You just you think of that name off the top of your head, or you just or you just happen to see a Lover Boy record? Uh, pretty much off the top of my head. You are a regular riot. <laughs> Oh, it's a fire. This is actually good for a Dylan song. This, I actually think there's a Dylan song on here way. called I'll Have the Usual. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it's called The Usual. Um, might as well see. Just, oh. Oh, 
Well, I'm sure that uh, some fans would love this. We got uh, Mofi Mint and Shrink Beetle stuff up there. Wow. Now I happen to see a bunch of 45 boxes here marked promos and I think they're all white label promos every one of these boxes and unfortunately I don't have the money today at all so I'm gonna have to come back but like this for example this one's got uh, ELO's don't bring me down on jet records with the white promo label I think that's that's what's in here mostly Yeah, they're all white label promos. So this will definitely have to be perused, all these boxes, on a date when I'm able to afford it. Not everything here is white label promo, but it's a lot. Love Hurts by Nazareth. Paul Simon, 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover. Beatles Movie Medley. Wow. Yeah, these are all promos. Even the ones that are not white label, still promos. Box of promos. All these boxes. Definitely have to peruse this, hopefully at another time. There's a Ringo Starr photograph. Mono and stereo promo. Put that on the side. Billy Joel, Piano Man, Mono and Stereo. I could go on with this forever. Now, every one of these white boxes has promos in it. And can't get through every one of these white boxes, that's for sure. Promo 45s galore. Well, I don't know, Anthony. Uh... We should have come after payday next time. I hear you. <laughs> you know, I went in there and uh, you saw those those promo 45s. Anybody who's into 45s, mono on one side, stereo on the other. I mean, I saw a bunch there I wanted, but I don't think they're all going anywhere anytime no. soon. So I'm going to have to, when I, when I get some chunk of change, I'm going to have to go in there. You were like a pirate. You found a lot of lost treasures. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Joe. You think? <laughs> I'd say so. Uh, but I couldn't buy anything. But anyway, whoa. Easy now. That's right, open your door wide. You want to lose it? <laughs> anyway. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, hopefully, this is the first of uh, numerous trips on the road for records and stuff and food with Anthony. Right, take care, folks. Yeah, Hello, Quarry. Hey, Guns and Roses. Oh, yeah. Roses. Come and get them. Warm morning, red Look wagon. at this, come and get your uh, promotion. This is promotion. Promotion. Look at this, come to the store. Look what you can get here. We just got traded in. Look at that, traded in Nirvana, whatever that says, hormoning. Wow, that's cool. That makes you on <laughs> Anyway, look at this. Huh? But I, I came to my, still I guess my favorite record store, and, and as, as I came here, he has the one I saw at Cheapo's, which wasn't so cheap. So this is better. You mean El Chapo? <laughs> I don't even think that's what you meant by that. Oh, my God. Anyway, so this is from Australia. Anyway, this is how I'm going to end the video. Finally, back.